everyone. I'm going to show you how to get the scooper ending in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruins. Now, this is a secret ending, and for you to get this ending, you need to unlock four doors in chapters 1, 3, 5, and 7 located in the camera system. Once you get to the cameras, zoom out, and there will be a hidden camera located. Just cycle through the cameras until you get to the doors. Once it's open, make sure the save icon on the lower right-hand side plays, and it will confirm that you unlock it. Now, if you get this ending, it locks you out of the original ending of the game so make sure you're ready to dedicate yourself to that so this is me getting the first door so once you again unlock this ending that's it you have to play an entirely new profile for you to get the original ending also this has to be done all on the same profile i made that mistake so this is chapter three in monty's golf course you have to get to the third camera in this area i'm going to show you the entire path so there is no discrepancy of what camera it is so we're going to come across here and just, you know, avoid everything that's happening. You know, the slip, slippy pathways and everything. Put on the bandy mask. Come across here. And we're going to go over here to the left. Go to the right. And here we go. I should add that if you d are unsure whether you got the ending or not, the Mimic will actually wear a different costume. I'll leave that for a surprise when we get to the ending. But nevertheless, we need to unlock the next uh, path. We're going to shoot these little icons. And then we're going to go to the next path. So if you need any other help with Security Breach, I do have all the collectible guides finished and I also have a long play available in order to show how to get all the collectibles in one go without any type of cuts or anything if you need that type of guide. So we're going to come across here. Also remember to like and sub, it does help a great deal. So this is the first time you hit a teleporter and then come to the next teleporter. You want to make a right here. And this is going to be the camera that you need. So we're going to make a left here. We're going to shoot the icons once again in order to unlock the path. I do really bad here because, you know, yeah, not exactly my most proud moment. I don't know what happens if you lose all the balls, but I really didn't want to take that risk. So there we go put on the vanity mask by accident no well you need to take it off in order for you to use the monty uh, ball thrower so we're gonna make a left here and the camera is right there on the left so we're gonna come across here and the same process to zoom out and then go to the camera with the doors and wait for it to open make sure again it saves because if you quit before the icon finishes looping you're not going to gain credit for it if you want to be entirely sure, make sure you complete an objective so it'll save no matter what. So this is chapter 5. We need to get these scissors in order to unlock the next camera set. This is story progression. You're going to have to come here. That's a picture of Casey after she's crying, learning that Gregory's gone. So we're going to come to this camera and yeah, the same process. Zoom out, go to the camera, and wait for the door to unlock. And there we go. And now we're going to get the final camera. Once I decide that this is enough. Alright, there we go. So this is Bonnie's bowling alley. You're going to have to come to this area eventually for the story progression. Unlock this area. Take off the Manny mask. And this is by uh, Glamrock Bonnie's room. The camera on the lower right hand corner. So we're going to come over here. Make sure you avoid the music men. Some of them are very fickle and will just follow you around. So just be alarm aware of that. It this area, I really hate it. Because the music men are just like, they're these little things. That, like, Casey should be able to smash these things open, but she can't. But, uh, yeah, same process. I'm going to lure the music men away. But I'm also going to unlock the final door. Now, you will notice that not all the doors are unlocked because I went out of order. But that's the final door. Now, this is what we need. That is the final confirmation right there. That little outfit confirms we have the hidden ending unlocked. Just going to show you the death animation. Which is pretty brutal because it literally shows smashing Casey's face in. Remember, this is a kid. And she just got her face smashed in by this thing. So anyway, uh, the ending plays out just like the original ending. All you have to do is run to the end of the area. Just follow Gregory's path in. And once you do, you'll notice that the path on the right that leads to the elevator is completely blocked off. So you go left instead with a brand new area opened up. 
as I stated earlier, once you commit to this, that's it. You can't get the original ending anymore, so you'll have to play through the entire game on a different profile. But once you do that, uh, I doubt this ending is canon. I'm pretty sure it's just one of those fun endings, like the other optional ending that's here that you go to the Freddy Fazbear cutout and just like, you know, put on the mask and pretend everything's okay, but I'm pretty sure the mimic kills you. But here's the door. Once you go through all of them, just hit the button and I'll let the ending play out without my commentary. So if this video helped you in any way, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, sub, share, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.